Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, man. This video, I'm going to show you how you can get yourself some strategy items. A lot of people have been having problem with strategy items, and I'm also show you guys how you can make them, which one I can, which one I'm using, and which one I think is the best. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys all the ways you can get strategy items. So starting off is guys, I'm gonna show you guys the ones that I'm using and why am I using them. Um, for just my preference of moving forward, strategy item is probably one of the good thing you could have. So right now in office, I am using Let It Rip. Uh, it gives you two throw power and one do one throw deep actually. Uh, this only affects my QB. I'm gonna show you guys right now. As you guys got, as you guys can see, um, Warren Moon is getting a 96 throw power. He getting two from that strat card, and he got he has the one throw deep, as you can see. Um, that is the one that I'm using on offense, and that's all I do. Cause sometimes you need you need to eat. when you throw in a deep ball, man. The worst thing to do is under throw it, cause you know once once you under throw it, ES four ES plus give a DB a DB an extra speed boost, and the player can just come right up to you and take the ball from you, even though you had a step. So that's why I'm using throw power. It just makes sure it's all the way out there. The DB has no chance. Um, lockdown. I'm using lockdown on defense, which is giving you one. One man coverage, one zone coverage, and one press. This really helps out my DB in them in three different areas. That's why I have it. But yeah, having having two zone is good because we also have two zone here. Um, having two man coverage or two zone coverage is a good thing. But I really don't. I really, I really don't care for it, if you get if you get what I'm saying. I really don't care for two man or two zone coverage at the end of the day because my simple reason is that. I would like I would have I, I want one of everything so I think two of one thing is bad three of three things is pretty good so you get the one press the one zone and one man coverage if that logic don't make sense don't worry about it and this program one right here this program strategy item is basically from every promo that comes out they're gonna give you a strategy out a strategy item that like this is a zero chest strategy item which gives you speed um we get this one from just going through the zero chill, uh, chill pass I think you get the strategy item at level four. So don't hold me to that. I'm pretty sure the zero chill strategy I'm not, won't be able to work anymore because the zero chill theme team has gone away. Then I'm using Seahawks, uh, Seahawks, um, this Seahawks, Seahawks strategy item right here, which is giving two extra, uh, two extra cam to my Seahawks cam, which is also something that's helping me get at 50 out of 50. As you can see, if I remove it, boom, I went down to uh, 49 out of 50. Now I add the strategy item back. And it goes back up to 50 out of 51. So this is a very important thing if you're trying to build a theme team. It also saves you two spots on your team. Awareness. Why am I using awareness? I feel like awareness. This slide right here. When you add a play action, run block, um, finesse move, it affects the whole team. And I feel like what's what's better to affect the whole team than than, than catching, uh, than awareness. Do they have one for catching? They don't have one for catching. No, they do not. I would say if you if they have one for catching, try using that because that can help the DBs catch the ball. As you guys know, the DBs drop a lot of passes. Um, you can even try put put spec catch on them, cause the spec catch also helps you with uh, spectacular catch. You never know. Maybe it works, maybe it don't. But I like to use awareness because awareness affects the whole team, offense and defense. So that's why I like using awareness. And then uh, this hybrid slot right here, you can only get one silver silver strategy items. Which is the end of zone middle linebacker, so you only get one. So I'm using throw power, so that's why, again, Warren Moon got the extra four four throw power. Now, how do you get these strategy items? Now I'm gonna show you guys how you get them. So there's there's three ways to get them, guys. And right now there's there is common strategy item, uncommon, and there are rare. So one blue. One green and one silver. I'm gonna show you how you guys get them. The easiest one that you can get without doing anything is just come through here and complete your daily. As you guys can see here, once you complete your daily, which is buying a pack, scoring two touchdowns. These buying a pack is gonna stay the same, but these two right here is gonna always change. That score eight touchdowns in 100, rush for 150 yards. This is always gonna change. As you guys can see right here, it says you get a look bottom right on the, on the stream. It clearly says a strategy item. So basically you're gonna get this pack. This pack gonna give you a, a random strategy item. It could be it could be a rare, a rare, it could be an uncommon, it could be a common. And that is one way you can get them. The other way you can get them is basically coming through here and going to 
not painting. You want to come to select offer. You're going to go all the way to the back. As I can see, there's a pack for 7K. And I'm going to do three for you guys. These packs are random. So you can get a common, rare, and a, and a silver. As you guys can see, I got a silver. And each of them quicks for, uh, for 2K. So if you guys want to come through here and sit here and open it until you get the right one, that's up to you. Not my choice. I would not be doing that. But it's up to you to do that. As you guys can see, oh, I'm not gonna quick sell it. We got another rare. And let's do one more so I can just show you guys that this is random. Even though we are getting a whole bunch of rares, it is random. Another play action. Let's do let's do two more. Just so you, just so you guys can see that uh, your boy actually gave you give you two instances of what you can pull. As you guys can see here. Boom, we got a we got a we got a common. And this is a, I think that's an uncommon. I'm sorry. That's pretty good. Let's do one more. Boom, let's see what we get. Boom, we have a deep rock running. So now, once you come in here, you didn't get what you wanted. There's another way you can do it. You can go to sets. Sets is also another way you can definitely get yourself a strategy item, which can make it very easy on yourself. Again, the strategy item pack will be random. It would just be common. It's just going to be more specific. You know, you see you're going to get us all silver. You're going to get one silver, one gold, and one rare. So let's go to the sets first. What you want to do is, um, the best place to find this is going under, um, where was it? Core sets. That's where you go. That's where you'll find it. I'm going to ask you guys, you can see right here, uncommon strategy item, rare strategy item. And that's it. So the uncommon. All you need is two silvers, two blues, I mean two greens. And then you get yourself an uncommon. There should be one for. There should be one for. Uncommon. There should be one for the rare one. I'm not seeing it right now. But this is the one for the rare one. As you guys can see here. All you have to do is add all these stuff in there. We're not gonna put it in the zone for the zone coverage, baby. We're gonna put a deep route running. But the deep route running was already in there. Um, charge to put hit power for middle linebackers. We don't need that one. Now, once we do that, boom, we're gonna get ourselves an uncommon one by just using the sets. And this is something I think everybody should be doing if you're looking for a specific strategy item. I just guys got here. We got two zones for free safeties. This will boost your safeties. And you can keep going over and over and over if, if that's what you desire. But your boy is not looking for any of those things. I'm looking for the blue one. I don't see where you can get the rare. Usually the rare would be in here. Hold on. I might have to flip the by completion percentage. Um, The rare one usually is in here. I never had to look this far to find it. Um, Yeah. Hold on. Uncommon, there you go. It says rare right here. This is where you can get the blue one. So right here, right here, we go to uncommon. Once you go to uncommon, you get the blue one from this one. I mean, you get the green one from that one. And then once you go to core sets, you should be able to find program. Go to core sets. Oh my God. Okay, we gotta go back. Cause sometimes the, the set thing goes, just glitches out. So you gotta just reset everything by just coming through here. So you what you wanna do is wanna go to core sets. Boom. You get your uncommon right here. Oh, this is uncommon right here. Boom. And then you get your rare right here. This is your rare. We need the uh, common strat card. Why can I find an uncommon and rare? Oh, I'm tripping, guys. No, you should be able to make the rare. You should be able to make the green one. Hang on. Right now, just finding the rare one to make the blue. Complete percentage. I am gooking, guys. All right. So, I'm explaining it wrong. So, once go to um, Encore. Why am I getting it wrong, guys? Is because. The rare, so you get you get the silver ones to make the green one, and once you get the green one, you're gonna use the green one to make this uh to make the rare. I was tripping for a second there, man. 
And it's after New Year's, man. Your boy had a had a time last night, so give your boy a break. Um, you never want to put the two throw powers in it because I feel like the throw power is probably one of the most useful ones you could have. Um, one thing I do want to put in here is I'll probably put the build strategy items because I really don't need this one because I can't sell them. Usually you'll sell this stuff for a, a pretty penny, and now you put it in, to, in the game to where you can't you can't sell it. So now we'll just do this. We're gonna get ourselves a rare one. Let's see if we can get a good rare. Let's see what we're gonna get, guys. This could be a new one. We get power and move and strength. So that is how you should be getting your strategy items right now. You're gonna do so. There's three ways to get strategy item item, guys. You're gonna go complete your daily every day. Hope you get lucky. Or you can go to the store and open the pack. Or you can just from the packs that you open. Use the user strategy item to upgrade each one till you get to something that you like. Um, it might take a long time, you might end up spending a lot of coins items that everybody's been getting, guys. If you guys did not know this one, you get this one once you reach level 57. Um, honestly, for this one, guys, I don't know which one to pick from this one. Um, so that's why I still kind of have it right here. It's called an epic strategy item. Let's go ahead and check out the epic, guys. As you can see, you get Two pursuit, two play rack. I'm assuming that's that is for certain positions. If this one was a very good one, I don't know which one is like which which one. So this one is for offense. No, this could be for both offense and defense. So I don't know which one because as you can see, there's defensive strike card here and there's offensive strike card here. So I don't know which one. this one is probably the best one out of all of them, but I don't know where to put it. So I don't want to I don't want to just pick it and then end up have to put it in the office only, and then I have to put it in on defense only. And then edge, what I, I'm gonna go find more information on this. And once I find more information um, on this, guys, you guys will have it. And the only problem is I just don't know where to put it, guys. I just don't know where to put it in. Once I find where to put it, and I'll let I'll definitely let you guys know. Um, definitely two throw on the uh, three throw on the pressure and one pass block is could be something crazy you should be using. Um, the throw on the pressure, what it does is it helps you. Uh, it helps you when somebody's coming right in your face. You can stand in there, stand tall, and throw the ball anyways. And then the pass block helps your offensive alignments. And I think this one could be good, but do I want to give up throw power for under pressure? Mm, that's a that's a good question. Do I want to give up throw power for th under pressure? That's not a good question. Uh, for offense, do I want to give up? Do I want to give up acceleration? F do I want to give up throw power for acceleration? Another good question. So, you guys, let me know down in the comments what you guys think this one this one should be. And if you guys got any of these ones, if you guys got to this level, please let me know where 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 does spread go. Um, I'll definitely take a picture and then I'm gonna ask y'all boys in the, in the, uh, in the thing, man. Y'all boys have a good day. Enjoy the rest of your New Year's, man. Your boys out. Peace.